Activity 7. Aim to study the relationship among the direction of the current, the field and the motion of the conductor. Materials used. Aluminium rod, stand, strong horseshoe magnet, a battery, key, connecting wires. Experimental arrangement. Suspend the aluminium rod between the two poles of the horseshoe magnet with a field directed upwards and connect the circuit as shown in figure. Therefore, the current and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other. Procedure. By closing the key, allow current to pass through the rod from Q to P and observe the direction of motion of the rod. Interchange the poles of the magnet. Allow the current to pass through the rod and again observe the direction of motion of the rod. Observation. In the first observation, aluminium rod will get deflected towards the left. When poles of magnet interchange, aluminium rod moves towards right. Conclusion. The displacement of the rod is caused by the force exerted by the magnet on the current carrying rod. The direction of force exerted by the magnet on the rod reverses when the poles interchange. Thus, the force exerted by the magnet, current and motion of conductor are perpendicular to each other which can be illustrated through Fleming's left-hand rule.